you want to know, I'm 81 years old. I just moved to Brighton from um, San Francisco. But I've been coming to the UK every year since 1987. When I came to Brighton the first time, which was 2009, I did a cabaret uh, called Aging is Amazing, and it won a uh, star of Brighton. So Carol Cleveland, who was a Monty Python uh, sex symbol, um, asked me to do this same show on a double bill with her show, which was called Pom Poms Up. My mission is to dilute and ameliorate the fear people have of aging. They think that it's downhill, and actually, the way you age is a choice, and it really is a choice. Give me your hand. Give me this dance. As long as there is music, there's a second chance. I'll break a few more hearts before I break a sweat. I may be 80, but I'm not done yet, no, I'm not. I have chosen to age, um, to use the time I have on earth. I live every moment that I have. Life is for the living. We sometimes get things wrong, but the only thing you have to regret is if someone else is singing your song. I'm not as artificial as most uh, people uh, perform. I'm giving you an absolutely real picture of what my life is like at 80 and 81. Well, then it was 78. I'm living my dream, and I'm so alive. The first time I was on stage was when I was 71, and as soon as I got on stage, I was hooked. What is it you do? I tell jokes. Hey, oh, okay. And I also strip. But I, I can't strip here because they only give you two minutes, and I can't take my clothes off in two minutes. I had two failed marriages. Both husbands are still alive. Really? I know, it's a shame. Are they here with you? <laughs> I don't want to be amazing because of my age. I want to be amazing because this particular career I'm in, and do not think there won't be 20 more, but this one, I want to be amazing because I made you laugh harder than any other comedian, not because I was an old lady. Here is Lynn Ruth. Yeah. Now I want you all go out and I want you to live your dream. I want you to go out and I want you to do the thing that you want to do more than anything in the world. And I don't want you to worry about what anyone thinks or anyone says I want you to go do it. Because I want to get this out to people. I didn't have any training as a stand-up comedian. I got it later. I had training as a teacher. I loved the children. But I didn't love grading the papers. I don't believe in it. It's against everything I believe in. I believe that what the answer you put down was the right one for you. And I want to perform all over the world. That's the thing. I want to inspire women to have the courage, people to have the courage to do their dreams. And the third thing I suppose is I want to stay healthy and keep my mind so that I can do it. 79, I wasn't that impressed with the way I led my life. Now, I'm 81, and that sounds so fucking old. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I woke up this morning and I thought, oh, I buttoned my shirt. <laughs> Yay! I had sex. Yay! Myself. Yay! And if I got pregnant, I could use, I could use a nice two-bedroom flat. <laughs> but I wouldn't need 1200 a month because if I got pregnant, I'd have my own reality TV show. <laughs> right? There are two kinds of men, right? In Brighton, there are actually three. <laughs> the kind that smoke Marlboros and don't wear condoms and beat their wives. This is true. I married one of those, and I really did. I can still remember uh, he's throwing me across the bed and smacking me and saying, I can't do it, I can't do it. And I said, can't do what? And he said, I can't grow a mustache. And I said, never mind. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Always the enabler. Yeah, these days, <laughs> I see a hair on my shoulder, and I realize it's attached to my chin. You haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Every one of you are looking at me and saying, this will never happen to me. It will. It will. And you get to the point where you know you think, no, I'm going to fight it. No, I'm going to fight it. I'll never let this happen to me. And then one day you say, oh, fuck it. <laughs> let it grow. Let it, let it fall. Let it grow. Eat sweets. <laughs> Eat chocolate. It's okay.
I think everybody, if they listen to their heart, will have more accomplishments as they get older. There's a joke I do where I said I, I started stand-up comedy because I didn't want to peak too soon. I started it when I was 71. But that isn't it. I don't think you peak until right before you die. There's more. There's more. Well, I left out a verse. <laughs>